All right, we're gonna cut to the chase here. I have in front of me the original Shadowhawk X800. This has got the XML emitter. This is original Shadowhawk. This isn't a knockoff that you can buy, which there's a ton of them. This does have the XML emitter in it, and it does come with the 26500 original Shadowhawk battery, and it's fully charged. And we're gonna be putting that up against the Ace Beam K70. I got a friend that lives a little bit away, like anybody else, if you're on Facebook and seen all the advertisements for this guy. Um, you know, it's been run over by a tank. Uh, technology on it is so wicked that it could be banned by the military or whatever. Super bright LED. Just, uh, I guess, prove him right or wrong, I ended up ordering me one. And I'm going to stack it up against my farthest thrown LED mitted flashlight, single LED that I have. As right now, this is the farthest throwing flashlight on the market. And if you want more information on it, you can go look that up yourself. But it is running on four 18650s. And before I, we get going, I want to say I ordered the TN42 from Through Night, which is supposedly, per specs, is going to out throw this K70. And I'm very curious to see, so stay tuned on my channel for that video to come. I'll do a review on it, and then we're going to do a head-to-head -head between these two. We're going to find out who comes out on top. Although maybe my friend's right in this uh, X800 will do better. Ain't that right, Perry? And for the heck of it, we're going to throw in this O-Beam O2 flashlight. This is my tightest beam flashlight I got. I really like this thing, to be honest with you. It's not super bright, but pretty neat. And then an XT11S by Claris. This is my carry-all flashlight that I, I run all the time with. So let's go ahead and get out there in the fog and start shining and just see how well this stacks up. Of course, you know, you look at the size of them. There's no way in heck this is going to compare to this, but I'd like to see just to give a person a good idea on flashlights. Let's go. All right, we got some, some fog rolling in. This year is the X800, and there's a tree right there about 62 meters away. And then over there is 90 something. Right there is 92 meters. Now, I'm gonna turn on the ace beam and we'll compare it. Like I said, there's a little bit of fog. And there's the ace beam compared to that X800 at 62 meters. No, I'm just joking actually. This is the ace beam on the right, but that's the second lowest setting. There's the third lowest. And there's next step up. And there's another step up. And I don't know if that's high or not, but we'll find out. That was high. But anyways, there's the X800 and there's the ace beam. And there's the tree that's 92 meters away. And if it don't drown it out, there's a tree 140 meters out. But it washes it out because of the fog. Back there, 190 meters, that tree line. X800, ace beam. A little bit of difference. All right, I got my exposure turned down. Actually, my F-stop up and my ISO cranked down. And this is the Shadowhawk, what you're seeing right here on the left, and there's the K70. Shadowhawk, K70. Shadowhawk, K70. Kinda of unreal. Look at that damn thing. Like I said in my other videos, it never gets old shining this damn thing. Let's hit up on another light besides that X800. Now I got the Claris. XT11S, which is a wicked little light. Of course, only one 18650, but notice there, just absolutely no comparison. None at all. The O-Beam O2, this here is a little rocket. An Ace Beam. Now back to the uh, Shadowhawk, military grade. In A B. All right, I'm gonna walk down the road. We got the moon coming up. Some of the fog's going away. But I wanna. 
do some beam shots from far away to see if you can see how the spill is versus the throw. 